We think we're building walls to protect ourselves from hurt, to protect ourselves from pain, to protect ourselves from exposure. But what we're really doing is constructing a prison in which pain is our cellmate. And we can never be free because we see this wall as the thing that's protecting us, but it's actually the thing that is imprisoning us. And so God started dealing with my heart about the prison of image that I was living in. And I had built this social media image, this public image, my image with my family, my image with my wife that would hurt too much to tear down, but really it was imprisoning me with my pain. And I felt like I couldn't talk about it and I couldn't share with anyone about it and no one would understand. And it's just me that's struggling. It's just me that's dealing with these issues. And that's always the trick of the enemy is to get us into a place of isolation. It's always the move. And we gotta be aware of that. Where was Noah when he got off the ark and got drunk? Alone. Where was Eve when she heard from the serpent? Alone. Where was Moses when he killed the Egyptian? Alone. It's all of these spaces where we find people of great faith in a place of isolation where their identity was forgotten and their principles were compromised. It's always the place that the enemy wants to get us. And then if he can silence our voice in that space, we'll die with an issue. And I just decided one day, I'm not living like this anymore. I'm going to go to my wife. That's the point of the body of Christ, to build each other up and to help each other and to not judge each other. I am going to share my struggles because a real man is not a man who pretends nothing affects them and you don't care if anybody likes you and people's opinions of you don't matter and you've got all the solutions to all the problems in the world. Real man knows how to find his place on his knees in confession and in repentance and invites the presence of God to empower him in places where he is weak. I realized there's life beyond the prison, that we weren't meant to live in that space and that the space of grace is a spacious place. I can tell you from experience, God's grace is bigger, that where sin abound, grace does much more abound.